Hi, friends. Welcome back to another Stay and Play with Channel 13. We're so glad you're here today. Today, we are going to be talking about balance. That's right. Balance is when things weigh the same on both sides. They're equal. We're going to be having fun doing a science experiment and some games and songs along the way. Are you ready for our welcome song? You are great. Grown-ups, this will be a wonderful time for you to get our supplies. Today we'll need two books. One that's kind of long and one that's a little bit shorter and thicker. Now, if you don't have those things, those are hard covered books, you can try something like a cereal box or maybe a snack box or container, just something heavy and hard that will work for our balancing. Okay, kids, are you ready for our welcome song? Do you remember our pattern? That's right. Let's try it together. Pat, pat, clap. Pat, pat, clap. Let's sing our song. And then you can say your name. Welcome to Stay and Play, Stay and Play, Stay and Play. We're so glad that you're here. My name's Stephanie. Okay, friends, now it's your turn. Welcome to Stay and Play, Stay and Play, Stay and Play. We're so glad that you're here. Your name's Wonderful job, my friends. You know, now that we have our hands moving and shaking, let's get some exercise, right? It's always important to get exercise in the beginning of the day. Okay, hmm. Let's have grown-ups and kids. Everyone stand on up. First exercise we're gonna do, let's stretch our arms. Yeah, good stretch. Now let's stretch to the other side. Nice one. Can you touch your toes? Bend down low and touch those toes. Can you touch your head? How about your shoulders? Knees and toes, very good. Okay, now let's try another stretch. How about we stretch this arm out and this arm out? Wow, do you see what I see? Both our arms are out wide. They make kind of like an airplane move. Can you make an airplane move like me? Very good. You know, since both arms are out, they feel kind of balanced, meaning they're the same. I have a really good challenge for you. Do you want to try it? Okay. Now this exercise is going to be really tough. On the count of three, you're going to lift one foot. That's right. Kind of like a flamingo. Keep your arms out wide. And on the count of three, lift one foot and see if you can stand on one foot without falling over. Are you ready? Are you set? One, two, three. Lift that foot up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, down again. Okay, let's try the other foot. Ready? One, two, three, foot up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now that's kind of hard. If you can't quite get it yet, keep on trying. When we have one foot up and one foot down, it's called balancing. Grown-ups, could you do it? That's right, very good. And how about you little kids? Can you try two? Nice work. And remember, if you can't do it yet, keep on practicing. You can also hold the wall sometimes to give you some support to practice your balance. You know, one time I was at gymnastics and I saw this big, long wooden beam. And someone was walking across it like this. Nice and slow. Do you know what that is called? That's right, a balance beam, like this. My friend George knows all about balance beams. See this? It's like a long pole 
And if you walk slowly across it, you can get from one side to the other without falling off. A balance beam means you have to balance while walking across it. You know, if it's raining where you are or you're inside right now, you can have fun with the balance beam too. That's right. You know what you could do? Grown-ups. If you have some a sheet or um, a blanket and you roll it up nice and tight and so it gets long and skinny and then put it on the ground, you can pretend that is your balance beam. Or you can use masking tape and put tape on the ground and have your little one practice stepping one foot in front of the other without falling over. Now, if you happen to be outside, you can always use the curb or the sidewalk lines, anything you really have to help us practice our balance. It's a fun activity and you can play a game. Who can get to the one side to the other without falling over? It could be like a nice exercise challenge. Speaking of challenges, someone challenged me once. Yeah, they said that I couldn't balance this book on my head. Hmm, what? You think I can? Well, I don't know, it might be a little hard. Should I try? Okay, I'm gonna try. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, I'm gonna take this book and I'm gonna try balancing it on my head. Okay, let's see. Oh boy. What do you think's gonna happen when I let go? Hmm. It's called a prediction. Do you think it'll stay on my head or do you think it'll fall off? I'm gonna sit up nice and straight and you talk about your prediction, grown-ups and kids. On the count of three, what do you think's gonna happen? One, two, three. Oh, it didn't work. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna try again. Thanks for your support. Okay, I'm gonna try it this way. One, two, three. I'll never be able to get it. It's just not staying on my head. Hmm. Maybe I'll try one more time. Okay, this time I'm really gonna practice. I'm gonna put it right in the middle and I'm gonna sit up nice and straight. And can you encourage me? Count down from three, two, one. Hey, I did it. Do you see it? It's on top of my head. I'm sitting nice and straight and keeping my head up. Ooh, this isn't easy, but I think I got the hang of it. Do you notice that the book is right in the middle of my head? There's equal on this side and on this side. Now, what would happen if I push it over a little bit? You wanna try? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna push it over. One, two, three. I guess that solved the problem. The book needed to be in the middle of my head so that it weighed the same on both this side and this side. This is another fun thing you guys can do at home if you're stuck inside. Find some books, have them balance on your head. And remember, if you can't do it yet, keep on practicing. You probably will be able to do it soon. Grown ups. Talk to your little one about how balance is when something weighs equal on one side and the other. Do you have a book? Can you go get? And can you try it? Hmm. I think you can do it. That reminds me of a game. Would you like to play a game with me? You would? Okay, great. I'm gonna show you a picture. And on both sides, there's two objects, but your job is to tell me what's missing to make them the same on one side and the other. Will you help me? Okay, good. I'm gonna bring out my paper, so let me move this. And here we go. Do you see these two houses? Yeah, one here and one here. What shapes do we notice about these houses? That's right, a blue triangle on both sides. 
That makes the roof. What about this shape? That's right, a green square. And what about the, hey, wait a second. This one has a red roof and this one doesn't. They're off balance. Ooh. So what should I put on this side to make them equal on both sides? Hmm. We got the roof, we got the house. I think you're onto something. I think we need a red roof on this side. Let me see if I have one here. Of all things, I have one here. I'm gonna tuck that in. Hey, are they now the same on this side and this side? I think they are. Good job, friend. Okay, we're gonna do one more. I have two bunnies and you're gonna tell me what's the difference. Okay, so this bunny has a circle face and a circle face. And we have one ear and two ears and one ear and, hmm. What's missing on this bunny to make them equal on both sides? Let's take a closer look. We have circle, circle, two ears and, oh, I think you're right, my friend. I think we need to add an ear on this side. Okay, okay, let me find my ear. Here it is, right? Perfect. So we have, what? No, this is not the same? Hmm, I guess you're right. What shape is this ear? An oval. And this shape is a triangle. Hmm. Okay, let me see what else. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Now they're equal on both sides, right? No, again. But they're both kind of like purple and orange. They match the same kind of color. Oh, I guess you're right. This is a sphere. Hmm. All right, one more time. Let me see what else I have around here. How about now? Yes, thanks friend. You helped me make it equal on this side and this side. I guess we can say that they are balanced. Another word is called symmetrical. Ooh, can you say that with me? Symmetrical. Symmetrical, symmetrical. Ooh, that's a long, big word. But what it means is that they're the same on both sides. They are symmetrical. Just like when we were holding out our hands, we were the same on both sides. Just like when I was balancing my book, it was the same on both sides, symmetrical. Hmm. You know, my friend Caillou knows about things that can be the same and different on both sides. Do you like to read a story from Caillou? You would? Okay, great. Let me get a little closer so you can see it. This story is called Caillou. What's the difference? Caillou's turtle has short legs. Do you see his turtle there? Okay, but Caillou spider has long legs. So they're kind of different. One has short and one has long, but both sides of the book have toys. That's kind of the same. Caillou's glass is, hmm, does he have a lot of milk or a little? What do you think? I think you're right. Caillou has a full glass of milk. Rosie's bottle is empty. So it's different. One side has more milk than the other. Hmm. Caillou's boat floats. 
You see it floating in there? Can you point to it on your screen? Where's the boat? Is this it? No. Is this a boat? No. You're right, here it is. There's the boat. So the boat floats, but the soap sinks. Those are different. Which side of the page has more bubbles? This side or this side? You're right, this side has more bubbles. This side has more toys. So they're kind of the same and kind of different. Caillou's elephant is, hmm, is it big or little? What do you think? Yeah, I think you're right. Caillou's elephant is big. Caillou's mouse is tiny, he's small. Those would be two different things. Which one do you think is heavier? If you had to pick one up, which one would be really hard to hold? The elephant or the mouse? I think you're right. I think the elephant would be difficult to hold and the mouse would be so cute it would fit in the palm of your hand. Last one, Caillou's sister is in front of the dollhouse. But hey, where's Caillou? Hmm, I don't see Caillou anywhere. Oh, there he is, Caillou is in the back of the house. So they're a little the same and they're a little different. If you think about it, things can weigh different and the same. That kind of reminds me of a story about balancing. Caillou's a story, it has characters. I know another character. It's this one right here. Would you like to meet him? Do you know this person's name? And actually, it's not really a person. Hmm. It's an egg. Hmm. Does that remind you of any stories? That's right, Humpty Dumpty. What happened to Humpty Dumpty? Hmm, in order for us to make our story, we need a wall. There we go. This can be our wall. Let me set it up, there we go. Humpty Dumpty. Now Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, right? Look at that egg, eggs are kind of an oval shape. So he had to be really balanced, one side and the other. But uh-oh, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. <sighs> oh no, all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Hmm, why do you think Humpty fell off the wall? Why don't you say it with me and we'll try to figure out why Humpty Dumpty fell off this wall. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All of the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Did you think of it? Why Humpty fell off this wall? I think you're right. He lost his balance. All of a sudden he was sitting straight and he, whoa, 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 lost his balance and fell off the wall. Hmm, similar to that book that was on top of my head. Sometimes if you shift your weight or move your weight from one side to the other, you might fall like Humpty Dumpty. Hmm. That reminds me of one more thing. Today, we are going to be doing an experiment. We're going to be talking about things that balance and things that fall. Would you like to help? Okay, good. Now, I'm gonna get my supplies ready. Grown-ups, if you have your supplies, bring them out now too. The first one I have is a pretty thick book. Look at this, all these pages. But it's pretty sturdy, it has a hard cover. See? And it's gonna be the bottom of my balance. So I'm gonna put this one here nice and straight. Now I need something to go on top. Hmm. Oh, you know, I have another book here. Elmo and Friends. I'm gonna put this one on top here. Look at that. I put it right in the middle so it's symmetrical and it doesn't fall over. Now, let me move this and this. 
What would happen if I put things on top of this? Hmm. Let's make some predictions on what we think might happen. Okay, I got some good stuff here. Hmm. This morning I was having some delicious strawberries. These are really good. They're kind of heavy, there's a lot of them in here. I'm gonna put them on here. What do you think's gonna happen when I put them on? Hmm, let's check it out. On the count of three, I'm gonna put them on and let go. One, two, three. Oh no. Well, that didn't work. Hmm. Humpty, stay right there. Don't go away, Humpty. That didn't work. Okay, so I need something else to put on this side so that it won't fall over. Because look, when I put these here, it falls this way. Let's see what else I have. Hmm. Humpty, you might work. I'm going to put Humpty Dumpty here. This is big too, right? It's a nice stuffed animal. One, two, three. It still fell over. I guess you're right. Humpty's pretty soft and doesn't weigh a lot. The strawberries are quite heavy. I need something heavier to balance out the weight. So I'm gonna put this here, put this in the middle. Let's see. What about these, some tomatoes? They're both red. They're both in containers. And if I put the tomatoes on this side and tomatoes on this side and I let go, do you think it'll stay? or fall. Take a minute to talk about it while I set this up. What is your prediction? Tomatoes here, strawberries here. What do you think? Let's count down and see. One, two, three. Yes! We got them to stay. They're balancing. I guess because the tomatoes and the strawberries weigh the same thing. You did it, thanks friends. All right, let's see if we can do one more. What about hmm, my friend Elmo and my friend Humpty? Do you think they weigh about the same? Let's put them on the scale and see, one, two, three. They weigh about the same. What happens if I put Elmo and a sweet potato? Let's check it out. One, two, three. That did not work. Why do you think? How come Elmo and the sweet potato did not balance? Hmm. What do you think? Oh, okay. Elmo thinks because the sweet potato is kind of heavy, and Elmo's kind of light. So they are not the same, they will not balance. Let's see if we can find one more thing for our sweet potato. Okay, here's my sweet potato and let's see if I have a tomato and a lemon. If I put them on both sides. One, two, three. We got it, look at that. We have a tomato and a lemon and a sweet potato. They're kind of balanced on the same side. And even if we move them over, they're still more balanced than this Elmo. So I guess these two are heavier than this Elmo and they can balance it out. Grownups, this is a fun game you can play with your little ones. Like I said, if you don't have heavy books, you can try a cereal box or maybe um, a snack box and just find different objects from around your house and see if you can get them to balance and not knock over. And then talk about when they do. How can you change things? How can you get something lighter or heavier so that this won't fall? We hope you had fun today. I know I did, and thanks for helping me build this so we can balance. Next week, we're gonna be talking about Thanksgiving and healthy eating. We hope you join us next Friday at 10 a.m. right here on this YouTube page. And friends, we will see you next time. Thanks for coming and have a great day. Bye. See you next time.